Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be going over why your Android phone might be frozen. So there's multiple reasons for this. So in this video, we'll be focusing on software issues, which are more common. If it's a hardware issue, you'll have to go to the shop, try to repair it. If the screen is literally frozen and broken, but it's more likely that it is a software issue and we'll go over some easy fixes today so you can get your phone running normally again. So sometimes it could just be a problem with the app. The processor intensive apps sometimes cause the phone or the app in specific to freeze. You can easily remove that then and fix that problem that way. Sometimes older phones or entry level phones also have less RAM, so it's harder. So that might not be enough to run certain apps that, or certain games that need more processor function. So let's get right into it. Let's go over six quick fixes, how you can get your phone unfrozen again. So first of all, start with restarting your phone. On Android, you can do that quite easily. Just hold down the power off button. So just hold down the power off button for 30 seconds on a Pixel phone, sometimes shorter on other phones, just hold that down. Then your phone should restart automatically. If that does not work, hold down the power off button and the lower sound button. Hold them together simultaneously till the phone powers off and then it should restart automatically. If your phone does not restart automatically, try charging it. So just plug it into your normal USB-C cable and try charging your phone. Maybe it's on low battery, that also causes the phone to freeze sometimes. If it's on low battery, it freezes and then it shuts down. So definitely make sure it has enough battery. Next, what you can do is checking your storage. Sometimes your phone will freeze because you've used up too much storage space. Sometimes that happens while you're taking a picture or something because it wants to store that new picture and then your phone gives up, it freezes. And to check your storage, just go into your settings Go into your settings and type in storage on the search bar and now click on storage at the top and here you're able to see how much storage you have used. So for me it's 65% so I'm still good to go. If it's less than 10% you want to try deleting some things. To do that just scroll down. You can see first of all your duplicate files. You can and you can see large files, large video files that you can easily delete that maybe you don't even know you have on there. So just scroll down and then you'll find some things to delete. And then you should be good to go again. Next, a big reason might be a app, either a app that is too intense for your processor or maybe some malicious app that causes your phone to crash. So to check if that's the problem, if just the app is frozen, you can click onto your recent apps. So click onto this button right here, these three buttons, and then you can see your recent apps. And right here, you should be able to close that app that is frozen if only the app is frozen or not your whole phone is frozen. So then try doing that. So just swipe up the app so that's closed. And now you can try opening that app again and see if the same thing happens. If the same thing happens, sorry, but you're gonna have to delete that app to delete the app hold down longer on whatever app you want to delete. Just hold down on that and then you're able to hit delete. If the problem is that your phone is too overworked, too many apps open, you go to the same thing. So open up the apps right here and then try to close all the apps you have right here. So just swipe up every app. Maybe your RAM is overused and then you'll just have to do that and then your phone might start running cleanly again. So yeah, test that. See if you have any app that might be too hard for your phone to process or a malicious app, definitely check, try that. Make sure that's not the case. Next, the last thing that will help, the last resort you want to go to if the other things did not help is factory resetting your phone. To do that, go into your settings again on your phone and type in reset. So just search for reset and then you can go to your general management settings and you'll see reset at the bottom. Let's click on that and then you'll see different reset options. You can try those first, of course, and then last resort, try the factory data reset. Before you do that, make sure to save all of your important data. So all of the important data, you can watch our video on how to connect your phone to your PC and then you can get all of that data onto your PC and you can save it there or on your laptop, anywhere you, where you can save that data and then put it on a stick or somewhere. So you have it safe. Any pictures you wanna save, any files, any important files, documents, 
make sure you get those off of your phone first because all of those will be deleted all of the storage will be deleted when you factory reset your phone so it's basically not like a new phone after but this should also solve your problem of having a frozen phone screen so that's what you want to do if the phone screen is frozen if it's a software problem if it's a hardware problem you'll have to go to the shop and try to get it repaired and I hope this helped you out. I hope your phone is not frozen anymore. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this helped you. And comment down below if you have any more questions.